Okay, guys, girls, chapter three. We're gonna cover engine fixes for SSE. And there's a couple of mods. Uh, one uploaded by AERS and one uploaded by May 321. May 321 is legendary. Whatever that, that man is involved with, it can be assured it's gold. It's awesome. Anyway, we'll install both. They do different things, and SSC engine fixes will disable parts of itself if it sees this one installed, so they play nicely together. No issues. Now, before we install either one, we need to install the software that loads it. Um, <clears throat> and that'll be SK, the SKSE64 preloader and TBB library. Don't really know what TBB means, but it hasn't stopped me from using it. So let's download the file, save, let's take a look at the folder, and it is compressed like everything else. So let me delete stuff that's left over here. So we have it nice and clean, and I'm going to extract these files here using 7-zip which you can get for free from their website. Okay, this is three files, and we need to place them all in the Skyrim system folder. So copy, C drive, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, and common and special edition. And here is the folder. So we just paste it right there. Boom, done. Next, we're going to install part two, well, part one, really. And it goes, those files go in the um, data folder, so Mod Manager can handle it. In my case, MO2. And there we go. Organizing, download it. Double click to install, installed and activate it red bull it really does give you wings you should give me a commission for the commercial okay so that one's done now we're going to the second one which is right here ssa fixes and go to files the newest version, Mod Manager. That's also got a Skyrim VR version, but that's not us today. And there we go, downloading. We go back to MO2, and there it is, and that gets installed too. Okay, done. Now, a couple of things before we'll call it a day. If you open SSA, SSE engine fixes, um, it does have a, oh, that's the other one. It doesn't have anything. Sorry, guys. SSA fixes. That has an ini file that you can play with. So we go in there, and there's the ini file. So we place four map equals one. One means yes. Fix load distance three is already yes. This is more FPS hit. If you have a great machine, just put it to one. And <clears throat> it will help with crash fixes. And the other one. This helps menus. When the uh, when when this issue was starting and lower load times. Again, I think weak machines can't use it. If you got a nice machine, just turn that on with one save. Okay, that's it. It is saved. Okay, we need one more thing. Address library for SKSE plugins. So I'll go to files. Mod manager download. Go to 
to the mod manager and there it is install and it should go on top I bought there too okay see now how it goes looking good and runs and that's how let's make sure that we get to the desktop well to the game desktop I mean that's how you install both game fixes. The address library for SKSE plugins will work with other plugins too, so it's nice to have. Okay. Oh, I got to lock my cursor. My shadow machine. And you can see everything's fine. Menus work. There's no lag. Okay, that concludes chapter 3. Hope to see you guys for chapter 4. Take care. Stay safe.